I've clothed my plants with winter jackets. My husband thinks maybe I like them a little bit too much. They are my babies and I have suffered quite a large loss as of last night. I planted, transplanted all of my tomato plants into my bed because it's been super hot for the past few weeks. It's the end of May, it's May 29th. And apparently I jumped the gun and did not expect this. I did not expect it to be this cold all of a sudden. And I lost, I lost uh, the majority of the tomatoes that I planted. Did I cry? Yes, I did. I did. I cried. I was so sad and so frustrated. But this is a part of learning. This is life. And I'm hoping by taking this video, maybe it will save somebody else's plants. I don't know. Let me show you at least what I've learned from this. So look at these poor guys. Look at these. Wait, where is it? I can't even, where's my hand? I can't lose my camera. There it is. Okay. Look at that. That's from the cold. So I don't know how these guys are going to do from what I've learned and watched and tried to learn about is that hopefully these will come back at the base. Um, they do, do grow little, like they have little nodules that are actually roots. So you can plant them in the dirt and they should grow back. This is, you know, this is hopeless. This isn't going to come back. But some of my tomatoes that may still have a hope, I've put a bin over. Like this one has a strong stem still. So I'm going to keep this covered and keep it warm with a winter jacket. And I know that you can cover it with, you know, by any other means, um, with you could use tarp you could use plastic you could use greenhouse plastic you could use sheets i'm going to use jackets because you know they're good for winter <laughs> for humans so i figured they're good for plants too so all these are goners this one i'm going to try and cover um because the stem is still nice and strong and i don't know it might be good it might be okay you know like that's gone um that that one was a my biggest tomato plant and seemed to be the strongest through this cold it did the best so i covered that guy up but all along here i have my tomatoes and man they're a mess but it's funny some stuff that absolutely thrived through this cold is this whatever it is because i didn't plant it it came up through my compost and i have a feeling that it is a spaghetti squash i have a whole bunch of them um because when i came here when i moved last summer i started planting in june and um the one thing that came up like crazy was spaghetti squash and it came through my compost and i got tons of squash so i have a feeling that that's what it is and it's all through my garden and it it did well through the frost well except for let's see this one that one didn't do too well but underneath like look at those guys so i have a feeling i have tons of spaghetti squash and what else did all right and really well and they're just baby babies is the kale and you guys probably already know this that kale and greens and leafy greens and stuff do really well with cold with a bit of frost so those are thriving thank god because we eat a lot of those but i've really learned my lesson for crops that need warmer climate and warm weather um yeah so my garlic is amazing don't have to worry about that um but let me show you what i did with these guys over here so i have a few more tomatoes and cucumbers over here and so last night i threw on these containers i've been saving I've been saving throughout the year. I'm telling my husband whenever he uses a bum load of dates to keep the containers because what I used them for was I used them for um, for uh, starting my seeds indoors. And then I used them as little greenhouses and my theory was that this is going to work. This is going to help. And it did. It actually helped. So there's my cuke right there. And you can tell by the leaves that it did get affected by the frost a little bit. Actually, I don't even know if we got frost. I think we just got super, super cold. But this did really help. So what I'm going to do with this, if I can't find anything else to cover, like any fabric, I'm going to double up the container um, because the rest of the week is supposed to be cold and see what happens. Because I have a lot of little squashes here that are coming up. So I tried to protect all of them and they seem to be doing well. Okay, now come with me to the back. I haven't been here yet and I'm nervous because 
the number one thing I've been ecstatic about growing are lopes, like cantaloupe and watermelon and stuff, and because we eat a ton of it. So I really, really wanted my lopes to do well, and I'm scared. I only have a few that popped up. I know this one at the back is one. Oh God, please let it be okay. I don't know, I can't remember where else one's up. Oh, 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 please tell me it's okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. <laughs> and there's another one there. Okay, I'm so happy. So these containers, I really do think these helped. I think I'm still gonna double them up tonight, just in case magically it gets a lot colder because, you know, weather, thank you, does that change all the time and do whatever the hell you want. Um, okay, I'm gonna walk off this bed. And I'm gonna go check out the potatoes and see how they're doing. I forgot to show you guys, oh, I'm gonna fall, my peppers um, that I just transplanted to. And the peppers, some of them were actually not oops, nearly as bad as my tomatoes. Um, like that guy, like see, you can tell it, it really didn't get as wrecked as the tomatoes, which I'm surprised about. That would be just as bad. Uh, so, I covered these guys up and do 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 do. Yeah, we're gonna see how those do. Um, but like I said, the leafy greens, they're <laughs> beautiful. So they're so beautiful. These, if you've seen my other video, I actually planted these from my grocery store. So you know when you buy lettuce at the grocery store and they call them I don't know, like here they call them living lettuce or whatever, and it's just, it's the lettuce head, but it still has the roots and the dirt attached to the bottom. So when I chop it off to use as lettuce, I just keep the roots and I transplant the, blah, 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 transplant them into the bed and they come back like that. There are so many plants that you can do this with from the grocery store. You'll find, you know, lots of that throughout my videos. Okay, let's check out the potatoes. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what to expect, but from what I've learned, and no, potatoes do pretty well in cooler weather. I know a lot of them haven't come up yet, but look at the ones that have. Okay, 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 okay. Hi. Hello. Let's look at the other ones. So weird that I talk to my plants just like I would my own children. They're like phenomenal. Like, they're, <laughs> they're perfect. I only have a few of them that popped up. I pray that the other ones do. I'm really, really excited for potatoes. All right, well, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Well, really, it doesn't do much for me. I just wanted to share it for you guys in case you're dealing with the same thing. And please, if you have any advice, anything, anything that's worked for you, I mean, other than telling me don't plant your stuff too soon because I really did learn that the hard way and I'm never doing that again. <laughs> if you have any other tips, please, please share with me. All right, God bless you guys. Have a beautiful freezing summer day.